match of the bracket, to be honest. Like, Quid been on fire lately. Leon, a force to behold. So, it's a good match one way or the other, and it's starting it off on Town and City. Town City, I just feel like this is such a good stage to start out with for Pokemon Trainer, especially Quid, who has such a solid combo game. That's already 53% onto the board, and when you have those side plats, you can just put yourself in such a good position to catch those high recoveries. Yeah, now the easy reset from the combo led to a solid 78 and counting from the ledge play. Just a super good start for Quid. Because all that damage racking up before you even have to commit to your Ivy play, which is what really put Quid on the map. Well, but Quid right now going to be putting Leon into another awful situation. That's no double jump. So this should be Bop. an edge guard. And yes, Goodbye. it is. Quid is going to be able to close out that stock so well. Such good understanding too. Like, hey, that's Bowser with no double jump. He's got no mix. Yeah, but this is still Leon we're talking about. So even a uh, stock down is about as heavy of a de deficit as you could ask oh for. My. Like, he definitely has the chops to try and bring this back. But he needs to actually play the game to display that. Because right now, this is just the Quid show. And and it just it doesn't stop. Quid has not gone and hit this entire stock quite yet. Look at these tech chases. And Leon finally <laughs> getting a get off me option out. And the him about B. So now this is where Leon gets to play. It's those F tilts. It's those out of shield options. And just keep on putting the opponent into the corner until the untimely demise. <gasps> Yo! All right. Now I didn't have to do all that, but OK. Sure, I'm not sure why it's still sent behind Quid. Maybe <laughs> he didn't have to do all that. Maybe he's facing the blast zone, but either way, still hitting Quid from under the ledge. Yo. Yo. That was, that was really good TI, too. He's not stopping. This is such a messed up game one. Quid actually playing out of his mind right now. He even wanted to end it all. Yeah, no, shake my hand. That's game one. So... What is there else to say about that? I really don't know. That was just an absolute stomping uh, statement made. I'm surprised at how much work Squirtle put in here. Squirtle. Out here trying to guess up the Ivysaur, and yeah, Ivysaur did that. Listen, you're Bowser. You have an awful disadvantage when you're in the air. What, do you have a frame for your dodge? You, you just suffer. You get juggled. You're big. Squirtle can land, reset, get another grab, get another downer. You just actually get to blend Bowser. Um, that Nair is so scuffed. Look at that. I think it was a mistake going to Town City. Because Quid and that Food Stock especially, that's how they're able to find these edge guards. Position themselves under and onto the platform and, and just like wait for Leon to jump. To be honest with you, Dar, I don't know how much of a factor Battlefield is going to play into this one either. While I feel like the stage ultimately will benefit Bowser a bit more, I still feel like it's really inviting to heavy strings from all three of the cast of characters from Pokemon Trainer. Quid's matchup knowledge is impeccable. He just really knows how to get the most out of every single route um, and just maximize, like, he has a really good understanding of when to prioritize damage and also when to knock opponents off stage to be able to set up an edge guard as well. Oh, no double jump. It's time. Now's <gasps> your chance to get hit by Uppy. All of a sudden, even game, because you know the, the win con is right there. Yeah, but Ivy, so he's still going to be able to live Battlefield having such a high ceiling. Ooh! What a recovery mix-up, so tricky. I got hit by that. Yeah, no, I definitely got hit by that. Like, Quinn has such a strange approach to Ivysaur in particular, and I think, like, that's what really makes the character glow. Oh, no. But we don't want to be seeing wins like that, no. That yeah, way. Leon was just a little bit misspaced, went a little bit too far to the left, and as a result, could be meeting an untimely demise. Quid getting the jump called out, but such good recognition to switch to Charizard. They can take that hit, but they can't take another one. Oh, my timing. I'm so good at this. There you go. <laughs> You're good at the video game. <laughs> Impeccable at watching the video game. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Leon tries to go for up to a forward. Uh, maybe not positive, positive enough on head for Squirtle, and gonna be missing the. Oh no. That's rough. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that. An early stock. Definitely, I think the. <laughs> I don't know, yo. Like, I felt like it was a bit more of an even game, and I definitely felt like Leon had a sh stronger grasp on how to approach it against the likes of Quake, But now sitting at a heavier deficit makes it much more. Difficult. There's a lot less room for error for Bowser to lose base stage. Platforms, maybe. There's a little bit of scuffles here and there you can afford to lose as Bowser, but base platform is really important to deny heavy landing space and, of course, the ledge. Oh, my, and just like that, Leon catching Quid going for another recovery mix-up that he really shouldn't have worked once. Maybe not going to work exactly the second time around. And just like that, that's one up B. That's Leon trying to get a juggle. Listen, man, this is Leon just even to back up. Just keeping this heavy grounded game really important right now. Careful with these jumps. Unfortunately, call out after call out. Quid going to be racking that damage up. 
Who oh. quit starting to misspace a couple of these hits. Leon tries to go in a little bit too aggressively, but you just got to respect how quick and how fast some of those buttons are. Quid sitting at center stage waiting for an air dodge in, maybe waiting for a landing button. But now Leon is starting to play a little bit more defensively and safely with a lot of well-spaced aerials. You're talking about spacing. I love the way that Quid is approaching this <gasps> matchup. Because he's been, oh, he oh, messed no. it up. He's been going with forward tilt to try and approach at the grounds here, almost securing himself a kill oh, because no. of it. But unfortunately, that Jeb messing up the kill potential. Such a dangerous position. I love the use of a down air there just to throw off Quid's timing just a little bit. Even if it is reactable, if you don't see it coming, then, then that's an option sometimes that you just got to respect. Leon going to be making it back onto the stage. Bowser's ledge hand getting hit by Razor Leaf. Those are some big knuckles. And that's, and that's a big down air. Wow. Easy breezy 2-0 in favor of Quid. Ripping it up in this bracket. I've been trying to warn people about Quid when I was... Because... To my knowledge, Quid has not lost a offline event yep. since New York has returned to life. And that really is something dangerous to speak of. Quid's going to be top three in the New York PL. Easy. It's just, it's just straight up going to happen. Quid, I just love how patient they are. But they've also played this matchup. I feel like despite like a couple of misinputs here and there, um, and maybe like a couple of misspacings, Quid knows how to play so optimally, uh, especially with a character like Squirtle. If you can really put an opponent into the blender, really be able to put on just so, so much damage uh, to the point that like a zero to, you know, from the first stock with a neutral win, you get them to zero to 80 and off stage. I mean, we, you got that matchup just on lock. And we even saw how they, how easily they were able to approach this matchup in game one. It was like uh, 100 and like 8% uncontested from Squirtle alone. Before yep. even like being able to secure oh, the kill, that was so cool. I want to, I want to. I'm sorry, I want to see that one again. Bring it on Cause, back. Cause that was share that with was... the class. <laughs> oh, we're seeing it. Just really well spaced down B. Yeah. We saw Leon whiff it and die for it at a different point in this match, but being able to correctly space it showcase like why he went for it in the first place. Mm -hmm. And Leon going for those renegade options is just super important for being yep. able to equalize matchups where, for the most part, he's just losing really heavily. Like Bowser, big target, like consistently down in the stock count, but going for heavy handed options like that help. Like, yep. stop the bleeding. Yeah, Quid tried to do that once before. You're not going to happen again, right? So that's like one of those, like, one a set, once a, once a set kind of deal. So really unfortunate that Leon still ended up, like, SDing uh, that second stock. I feel yeah. like that was the game. That was the game that they were making all the right leads in neutral. They were starting to space really, really safely. But when you hold stock down, even if you're making the same amount of, like, neutral wins as your opponent, you keep trading up and up, you're going to be the first one to lose the game. That's why, that's why stock leads are so important. <laughs>